Hi, my name is John and this is Ageless Golf Fitness. A strong core is important for golf and for general body strength and mobility. Doing core exercises will definitely strengthen your muscles and make you feel better, but they won't magically make the fat fall off. Your ability to lose fat depends primarily upon moderating your diet. Our fat loss program helps you form healthy eating habits. For best results, we recommend that you combine this routine with a calorie budgeting plan. Our fat loss program walks you through calorie budgeting and includes a daily meal plan to help you simplify your lifestyle habits. Additionally, we recommend that you combine this workout routine with 10 minutes of cardio exercise daily, such as jogging, bicycling, or walking. It can increase your chances of success in any fat loss program, and it's just plain good for you. For the first sequence, you'll need a chair. These can also be done while you're sitting at your desk or watching TV. The second sequence will be done on the floor, so you'll want a mat handy as well. All right, let's get started. The core muscles are made up of the rectus abdominis, or the six pack, the abdominal obliques, and the transverse abdominis. Activating the rectus muscle. The rectus muscle is your front abdominal muscle, also known as the six pack or one pack or whatever pack you happen to have. Once you've located them, try to squeeze them so that you can get a feel for which muscles you're going to be working. Each time you do the exercise, try to squeeze the rectus muscles. Sitting in a chair, hands on knees, push your knees into your hands and resist by pressing your hands down into your knees. Squeeze the abdominals and hold for 10 seconds. And relax. We'll do two more sets. Press and squeeze. Relax. Press and squeeze. And relax. Activating the oblique muscles. The obliques are located along the sides of your abdomen. Once you've located them, try to squeeze them. You'll most likely be squeezing your other abdominal muscles at the same time. Lift and bend your arms, placing the hands behind the neck. Bend your upper body sideways, to the right, facing forward, and squeeze your oblique muscles. Bend until you can feel the stretch, and don't force yourself to go too far. Listen to your body, and slowly move back to center. Now bend to the left sideways, squeezing your oblique muscles. Slowly, with control, return to center. Now bend to the right. Slowly back to center, bend to the left. And once more on each side, bend to the right. Slowly back to center, bend to the left. And back to center. We're going to demonstrate how to activate the transverse muscle also known as the inner abs. Locate the transverse muscle on your own body, below your belly button. This is the deepest abdominal muscle and is located underneath the obliques, wrapping all the way around your spine. To activate the transverse muscle, you're gonna squeeze it in and up. We're gonna keep squeezing for 10 seconds. And keep breathing. Relax. We'll do two more sets. Remember to breathe while you're doing these. Don't hold your breath. Again, squeeze. Hold for 10 seconds. And relax. Again, squeeze. Hold for 10 seconds.
and relax. You can even do this while you're watching TV, sitting at your desk in a waiting room, or in line at the grocery store. Seated bicycles. Hold on to the seat of your chair with your hands. Just start pedaling your legs like you're riding a bike. We'll do this for 10 seconds. And relax. Place your hands on your knees, round your spine, and pull your belly in for a seated cat pose. Then, for a seated cow, push out your chest, arch your back, and look up. Release. Floor exercises. Crunches work all of the muscles in your core. Form is important with crunches, and you'll want to focus primarily on squeezing the muscles and move slowly with control. Avoid building momentum. This exercise requires a very small range of motion. Lay down on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Make sure that your lower back is touching the floor at all times. Bend your elbows and place your hands behind your head. When you do the crunch, you're going to squeeze all of the muscles in your core and lift your shoulders and upper back off the mat, keeping your elbows open. When you crunch, you want to make sure there's about a tennis ball distance between your chin and your chest. We'll do three sets of 10. and relax. And another set, here we go. Relax. And one more set. and relax. Side crunch. This time we'll be activating the transverse muscles, those ones underneath your obliques. Place your hands alongside your body with your arms straight. Squeeze the transverse muscles and reach your right hand toward your right heel. Hold and slowly release back to center. Now to the other side. Reach your left hand toward your left heel, squeezing the transverse muscles. Move back to center and do it again to the right. And back to center. And to the left. And back to center. We'll do two more sets. and relax. Reverse crunch. Squeeze your lower abs and bring the knees into the chest. If this is too much for your lower back, you can modify this by doing one leg at a time, keeping one foot on the floor and bringing the other knee into the chest. Whichever way you're doing it, we'll do three sets of 10.
and relax. And another set of 10. and relax. And another set of 10. and relax. Single leg extension. Laying on your back with your knees bent, shins parallel to the floor, flex your feet, squeeze the abdominals, keep the back flat to the mat, and extend out the right leg almost to the floor but without touching the floor. Slowly bring it back in and then switch leg. Extend the left leg out, squeeze the core, and bring it back in. Then again with the right leg and back in, and left leg, and back in, and three more times on each side. and release everything to the floor. Stretches. Stretch your right arm out to the side on the floor. With your left hand, grab a hold of your right knee and bring it over to the left side of your body, resting your knee and chin on the floor if possible, or as far as you can comfortably reach it. Turn your head to look towards the right side and try to relax the right shoulder, allowing gravity to pull it toward the floor. Take a few deep breaths here. and release. We'll do this on the other side. Stretch your left arm out to the side. With your right hand, take hold of your left knee and bring it over to the right side of your body, resting your knee and chin on the floor, or as far as you can comfortably reach. Turn your head to look toward the left side and relax the left shoulder. Take a few deep breaths. and release. Flip over onto your front so that your belly is on the mat. Place your palms underneath your shoulders and press them into the mat as you lift your chest off the mat. Lift up enough to feel a stretch in your abdominals, but not so high that you feel compression in your lower back. Finding the sweet spot is key in this stretch. Take a deep breath in and out and release your chest down to the floor. Press your hips up and back into child's pose. Take a few deep breaths here. Thanks for doing this core workout with us. Remember to laugh more. Laughing works your abs.